Hey guys, what is up? This is not going to be one of these long videos where I show ads in between or these fast paced workouts or anything like that. It's gonna be a no BS full guide on how to actually gain weight if your body type is naturally more an ectomorph, aka more of a skinny guy or a hard gainer. I wanna show you exactly how I personally went through this journey and all the lessons I learned for you to also be able to overcome this after watching this video. I literally spent around two weeks creating this video to make sure there is the necessary information but nothing over the top that you don't need uh, so i highly recommend you guys also subscribing to the channel for me to break down these things in further detail which i'll be doing over the next couple of weeks to give you guys the best experience now i'm gonna assume that you're probably a guy and you want to gain weight but preferably not gain fat that's also why i will quickly talk about building muscle in this video i will actually make a separate video on the best workout plan and you can literally subscribe to the channel to see this coming out in the next couple of weeks so save this video and preferably you know join the channel by subscribing and turn on those post notifications this video is all going to be about the pyramid of gaining weight you're probably a guy like me who you know would love to be happy to just gain anything really like back in the day i would be happy if i could even gain fat and just see the weight go up on the scale now i get that and i've been in that situation but i also want to show you the better way which we'll work more on until the end of the video where we'll be at the top of the pyramid first of all let's talk a little bit more about the base that's going to be the calorie surplus i actually left for you guys a calorie calorie calculator down in the description this calculator is going to give you a better understanding of how much your body is currently burning and how much you should be eating in order to actually gain weight and build muscle in your situation you can never really trust a calculator but if you fill this out with being honest with yourself you'll actually get a great indication of where your body is approximately and you can always adjust based on the knowledge i'll be sharing further down in this video after this calorie calculator gave you a number of what you're currently burning i want you guys to add 250 to 500 calories on top of this in order to be in a caloric surplus and to start gaining weight i personally highly recommend an app like my fitness pal to track your calories or to simply keep up with how your weight is going up slash going down i don't want you guys to learn unnecessary terms to build an extra one percent of building muscle but you guys definitely need to have a bit of a base understanding about gaining weight and building muscle that's why things like calories meaning a calorie maintenance a calorie surplus and a calorie deficit are terms you should definitely be able to explain to yourself in your own words so i would highly recommend and doing some research on that and at the same time macronutrients you know the protein carbs and fats i think there's probably thousands of videos by now out there explaining exactly how much your body needs of these nutrients but i believe it's going to be good for the consistency in your full body transformation down the line to get a base understanding of these terms so you know exactly how much to eat of them in order to gain weight in a healthy way as well the second part of the pyramid is going to be muscle i'm going to be revealing a workout plan as i said later on the channel that's why i highly recommend you guys to subscribe once more but overall for you guys to build muscle you want to have a plan you know tailored to your situation so basically you want to make sure you are doing the right things accordingly to the volume that your body can handle and stuff like that but there's only really one main rule and that is that when you're gaining weight by applying the first step you want to challenge your body each and every time you step foot into the gym meaning if you did a bench press last time with 20 kgs you want to start using 25 kgs in order to challenge your muscles again and build more muscle basically you you want to increase the overall stress of your movement which is called progressive overload and again there's tons of videos on that i won't really bore you with this guys but just keep in mind that you guys want to build a frame in the beginning i remember walking to the gym for the first time and i just didn't want to look stupid so to say and i went to the arms machine i did some curls and some tricep extensions with my friends we bought some protein bars and we thought that we would get big but at the same time in those beginning years when you're trying to gain weight and, and putting on those first pounds of muscle you should be focusing on building your frame that's why i highly recommend compound movements things like a bench press or overhead press a pull-up or a let pull down as well as a horizontal rowing you know variation like a cable pulley row are the four main movements i really recommend for the upper body for you to build a solid frame and from there onwards you can always build more detailed muscle groups like your arms or develop your shoulders more down the line but i think in the beginning stages when you can actually build that much muscle with your newbie gains it's very important for you to build your frame with the bigger movements now the third part of gaining weight is going to be taking tailoring probably the most important part and apart from talking about what you have to do in your situation i'll also talk about supplements sleep and more important things later in this video first of all you want to 
tailor all these things that I just mentioned to your needs. It's not because I'm personally eating 4000 calories as a 188 centimeter 88 kg male to maintain my weight that you should be doing the same to gain your first kgs. I remember me gaining weight by just eating 3000 calories and later down the line I needed more. That's why it's so important to tailor all these things to your needs and that's why in the first place I left the calorie calculator in the description for you guys to get a better understanding but you can't really rely on an algorithm like that. So be sure to tailor all these things to your needs and I'll even help you guys more by saying to DM me the word tailor to my Instagram that's on the screen right now. I've been replying to all my messages from my subscribers or people watching my videos for the last two years and this will never change. So if you want me to take a closer look and actually apply all of these tips to your situation, just shoot me a DM with the word tailor and I'll uh, be sure to help you out. I have a couple more components that I definitely need to dive deeper on. You guys should not waste your money on unnecessary supplements, but there's definitely a couple that I do recommend. First of all, your bulking. The only thing you're going to really be focusing on in the beginning is seeing the weight going up on the scale. That's why I highly recommend definitely during the winters a multivitamin to make sure you still hit your micronutrients and your vitamins, your minerals, and you don't completely give up on your health. That's why I also still advise to hit some fruit and vegetables. But I know that a guy like me wasn't really doing that in the beginning. So multivitamin can help you minimize the damage when the only focus of your of yourself, so to say, are going to be the calories in the beginning. Now, secondly, I highly advise creatine. Even to people who aren't lifting, creatine is the most safe and most researched supplement on the market with proven benefits and next to no or even no downsides after thousands of studies. It's going to actually increase your strength and just overall make you a bit stronger in the gym without any side effects. It's as close to a natural steroid as you can get. And the best thing is it's far from a steroid, if you know what I mean. Then thirdly, what I can highly recommend is going to be protein powder. I know how hard it is in the beginning to actually hit your calorie target. And the last thing you guys want to be doing is stuffing your face with chicken all the time to hit your protein. That's why a very easy way to not feel full and still hit your protein is going to be to drink a protein shake from time to time. That's also why I believe that protein powder should definitely be up there in terms of the supplements you buy and spend your money on. You can easily get it back for 30, 40 quid and, uh, you know, last that for a couple of months. The last supplement we're going to touch on is going to be a weight or a mass gainer. There's a lot of weight gainers out there that simply are filled full of sugars, don't contain that many calories or give you some digestive problems. That's why I usually don't recommend a weight gainer. And recently, a couple months ago, I decided to do something about this and I came up with my own weight gainer. And I have to say that I created a very good formula for you guys to gain weight. It's officially the highest calorie weight gainer on the market with 25 grams of protein per 100 grams, less than 20 grams of sugar and just overall amazing taste and very easy to digest. So if you want to make your journey a little bit easier, I'll leave a link to this down in the description. It's not something you absolutely need, but it's something I've been using through my transformation in order to guarantee my weight gain a little bit more. And that's why I do recommend it. Another very important component to touch on is going to be sleep. You guys have to realize that your muscles will grow when you're recovering. And as I mentioned in the beginning, you guys want to be gaining muscle mass as well. And sleep is going to be a huge component for that. To not bore you guys out, I recommend seven to nine hours of sleep every single day. So eight seems like the happy medium. After gaining 35 kgs myself, I really felt the need to help others in my situation and help them overcome this problem. And I've been creating over 200 videos like this on the channel day in, day out for you guys to make sure you guys overcome this problem of not being able to gain weight. That's why the only thing I really ask in return is to leave a like on this video, check out my supplement down in the description, and more importantly, send me the word Taylor if you want some more personalized information. I'll see you in the next one. Let's make these gains.